Please also take your own pictures and videos from wherever you're sitting. Um, we really want you to have great memories of this day. No freelance photography is permitted at this private event. Any freelance photographers will be requested to leave the venue. So now to the ceremony. Today's ceremony will be presided over by the Acting Chancellor, Professor Hilary Winchester AM, who will confer awards on graduating students during the ceremony. When the academic processions take their place on the stage, please remain standing for the national anthem. In the early part of the ceremony, the Vice Chancellor and President, Professor Scott Bowman AO, will ask the graduates to stand and then ask the Chancellor to confer all of today's awards, at which point you, the audience will cheer. Each graduate will then be called individually across the stage and presented with their award. Today we have graduates from CDU TAFE and the Faculty of Health, presented by Professor Dominic Upton, and Menzies School of Health Research, presented by Professor Alan Cass AO. Graduates, you have an integral part of this ceremony and you have a starring role on our stage. You'll be prompted to line up behind the scenes by our ushers, where you'll receive your testimony before being presented to the Chancellor. When it's your turn to walk across the stage, walk to the edge of the red carpet and wait for your name to be called. When you hear your name, walk towards the Chancellor, acknowledge them by nodding. So tap the edge of your mortarboard or bonnet with, on your left hand side with your left hand. Now, next instruction. Your tassel should be on the right-hand side. <laughs> well done. And it's your right. You're in health, so it's your right, not the patient's right, okay? Um, we will not be shaking hands today to stay COVID safe. And so when you reach the middle here, Stand next to the Chancellor and turn towards the photographer. They're sitting in the front row here um, for your photograph. Then follow the usher's directions to the next available seat in your row. Graduating and guests, please remain seated until the ceremony has finished. We want every graduate to have a full house, whether called first or last. I do acknowledge that it is a very large celebration today, which is a great cause for joy, um, but you can get a little fidgety. So um, we will be moving as quickly as possible. At the end of the ceremony, the academic procession will form a guard of honour and graduates, you will be prompted by our ushers to exit the auditorium through the guard of honour. After the ceremony, your guest ticket will give you access to light refreshments on the concourse. It now gives me great pleasure to hand over to our alumni manager, Mr. David McBain, who will talk to you about staying connected to CDU. Thank you, Deputy Vice-Chancellor. Good morning, graduands, and congratulations on your graduation from Charles Darwin University. Graduating from university is one of life's great milestones and it's something to be celebrated, I congratulate each and every one of you on your achievements. Once you walk out of these doors, you become alumni of Charles Darwin University, something that we are so proud of and something that you can proudly say for the rest of your life. You're leaving here with a qualification which will contribute greatly to your success in the future. But your connection with us doesn't end when you complete your study. As a graduate, we're here to support you through your career journey. Your knowledge, expertise and success can also be shared to help develop others who in a few years' time are going to be sitting exactly where you are today. As alumni of CDU, you also have access to a range of special benefits. You can obtain free advice on all matters relating to your ongoing professional development through our virtual career centre. You have access to the libraries across our Northern Territory campuses and our online library resources, including leading e-journals and e-books. And you'll have free access to LinkedIn Learning, where you can access over 15,000 courses delivered in seven languages to help you continue developing a wide range of new skills anywhere and at any time. We'll keep you up to date with what's happening at CDU through our alumni e-news and social media pages and you'll be invited to regular alumni networking events irrespective of where you live. 
including the CDU Alumni Awards, for which you're now eligible for nomination. The CDU Alumni Awards have been designed to showcase our brightest stars, people who have graduated from CDU and are using their knowledge and skills to do amazing things around the world. We celebrate them at a gala dinner which is being held here at the Darwin Convention Centre in November. Nominations are still open and will close at the end of the month. So if you know someone who you think is worthy of an award, please consider nominating them. You might have noticed that I'm standing up here with a little crocodile that's dressed like us. This is Charlie. He's the latest member of CDU's alumni community and I have one for each of you to collect from the alumni desk in the foyer at the end of the ceremony. Here's our gift to you, a small memento that will remind you of your time at CDU and that time that you stood here on this red carpet and had your photo taken as a graduate and proud CDU alum. I encourage you to stay connected with us. It brings so many rewards and opportunities and we would love to continue to hear about your future achievements and where your education with us has taken you. I know that this is a very exciting day and that some of you are quite nervous, which is why I don't expect you to remember much of what I'm saying right now. But in the coming days or weeks, when you have a spare moment, jump online and visit our alumni website. Update your details so that we can keep in contact with you and check out the other offers that are available to you as alumni of Charles Darwin University. Congratulations again on your graduation. I'm so excited for you. And I look forward to meeting each and every one of you out in the foyer at the alumni desk at the end of the celebration. Thank you. Thank you, David. And just a reminder to please switch off your mobile phones or turn them to silence, uh, silent, because the ceremony is due to commence shortly.
Welcome to Charles Darwin University graduation. Congratulations on your achievement. Now you stand ready to create a new world of possibilities. This is your CDU graduation. Graduands, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the academic procession is about to commence. Please stand and remain standing until the national anthem has been sung. Please be seated. The Honourable Natasha Files, MLA, Chief Minister of the Northern Territory, and fittingly for today, Minister for Health, who is uh, uh, joining us to have the celebration of our health graduates. I will note that the Chief Minister will be unable to stay for the duration of the ceremony. Distinguished guests, graduates, family and friends, to commence proceedings, I would like to invite Dr. Billawara Lee to deliver the welcome to country. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Chief Minister. Darandara Menengurukuwa Bachiwa, Nayana Garminba Billawara Lee, Damraliji Tugulu Merijin, Yajana Bachiwa Na. Good morning, everyone. My name now, since yesterday, is Dr. Billawara Lee, but I'm really happy for you to call me Auntie B. 
I am a senior elder of the Larrakee Nation and the Larrakee Academic and Residence for Charles Darwin University. I'm really very happy to conduct this ancient ritual of welcoming you to Gullah Medijin, Larrakee country. And I thank you for the respect you show us, the traditional custodians of the land we gather on today. I pay my respects to other elders here today and I acknowledge dignitaries, special guests, fellow Larrakee people, family, friends, colleagues and graduates. To my brothers and sisters from other First Nations, a very warm welcome from my heart. I recognise the strength of spirit and the depth of knowledge that exists in both the elders of the past and present, and I know the rich tapestry of the dreaming still runs strong in our mind, body and spirits. Australian First Nations are the oldest continuous surviving civilisation on earth, and the Larrakee people were the first sovereign nation of the Greater Darwin region. And although our lands extend up to 50 kilometres inland, we are saltwater people. Our sovereignty is a spiritual certainty. And our sovereignty has never been ceded or extinguished. Our civilization is older than all the other acknowledged ancient civilizations on this planet, including the Mesopotamian, the ancient Greek, Chinese, Indian and Egyptian cultures. One day I hope that Australia, if not the world, celebrates this enduring deep rich history and they understand and learn from our ancient wisdoms. Remember, our history is your history. As the Australian First Nations peoples are the oldest continuous surviving civilization on earth, we are the first, we were the first and we continue today to be the oldest surviving medical practitioners, researchers, teachers, students, astronomers, scientists, engineers, artisans, environmentalists, horticulturalists, fire managers, water managers, and athletes. And there are so many other roles that make us a very strong, smart, adaptive, flexible society. I want to give my heartfelt congratulations to our graduates. You have passed all the hurdles to be here today, your graduation ceremony. I'm so proud of you and I feel that over the years of your study at Charles Darwin Uni University, together with the staff of the uni, you have woven a very strong spiritual denala, a dilly bag or a net, in which you carry your hopes, dreams and knowledge. In Larrakia traditional life, we use the dilly bag to hold any bush foods, or bush medicines we gather, but also our people of high degree, our doctors, our wisdom keepers had a spiritual denial that they put all their knowledge and wisdoms into that they had gained over the years of their lives. And as they travel on their life journey, they always carried their spirit denial, and just as I do. And now you have a spiritual denial that you can carry on your exciting life journeys. Please carry it with pride. Charles Darwin University has given you the knowledge and the tools to be a master craftsperson. So continue to make us proud and never forget. If you ever need us, we will be here as you will always be a member of the CDU family. So it is on that note, it is my privilege on behalf of my eldest past and present to welcome you all to Guiawa Daraniki, our land. Welcome to my saltwater home of great food friendly people, beautiful beaches, spectacular sunsets, and currently you can see the beautiful bidjipidjis, or bit of, bit of farts, the dragonflies, dancing in the wind. I think they called out too loud because it's cold now. They usually call in the cooler weather. But you are walking on Larrakee land, and when you leave, our message will stay with you. I hope your stay in my country is a safe and nourishing one, and that the spirits of my ancestors watch over you while you're here. All that I ask in return is that you walk softly on Mother Earth and treat her with love and respect as the Larrakee people do. And if you are walking softly and you are listening carefully, you will hear the deep, rich, ancient voices of my Larrakee ancestors singing the song lines across this beautiful land and waters I call home. And when you leave Larrakee country, always remember the Larrakee people and that you have travelled the sacred lands of my ancestors. In these difficult times, Milama Damra, be well. Mamak Bachiwa, see you later. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Lee, for a warm welcome to Larrakia Country. I now invite the Vice-Chancellor and President, Professor Scott Bowman AO, to deliver the welcome address. Yeah, let's do that bit again. I, I realise I should have prepared you better. Um, the Vice-Chancellor needs to be encouraged to the stage and would like a, a little bit of an applause. So we'll do that again. Are you ready? Um, I now invite the Vice-Chancellor and President to deliver the welcome address. Well, thank you. What an unexpected warm welcome. Thank you. Uh, Auntie, Dr. Billawara Lee, uh, thank you very much for that very warm welcome to your beautiful Larrakia country. It is such a privilege that our university is built on your country. So thank you for that welcome and congratulations on your doctorate yesterday. Thank you. First of all, I just want to uh, tell you a requirement. So I see there are some young children and babies in the crowd. It is a requirement of the university. If they start making a noise or crying any, or anything, you do not take them out of the auditorium. We love hearing babies and kids. So don't be embarrassed. It, it's great for all of us because we know we've got some business coming up in the future. Now, you see before you someone who is really stressed today, really stressed, because look at all these people, 340-odd people going to graduate into health professions. How brilliant is that? But we're probably not going to finish till about 9 o'clock tonight. <laughs> so what I was told is you've got to make your speech short. Make it short. I normally do about an hour, hour and a half. People have told me they love it. And I haven't got that time, so I normally like to give a message to you folks, family and friends, a message to you, I tell a story, and I thought, how am I going to do that in a short time? How am I going to do that? And then it's just inspiration. What about if I could roll that all into one? And I think I can. But I have, the only way I can do that, and I want to say there is a serious side to graduation, and the Chancellor is the very serious side to graduation, but how can I roll those stories into one? It came to me at once, but I have got to change the hat. Now... Now, this is the hat, get the full look. This is the hat that I wore in, uh, when I walked in the Mardi Gras ceremony earlier this year. And I want to thank uh, the Chief Minister for sponsoring the Northern Territory, to have the Northern Territory stars, and I don't know why I got picked as a star. Well, I do really. But um, I walked in the Mardi Gras with Anita. And we've always wanted to do that, so thanks to the Northern Territory to make that possible. But my experience was, I came out, started the walk on the prey with a massive big blow-up star on my back, showing rainbow colours, wearing this hat and a, a rainbow waistcoat. And I've got to say, for the first half of the walk, I was pretty self-conscious and I was trying to get in the middle with other people around me. And it wasn't until about the halfway mark I really started to get into it. Started dancing along, high-fiving every thousands of people in the crowd and really loved it. And got to the end, and got to the end, I thought, oh, I wish I could do that again. And, you know, I'd have been right from the start, I'd have been in there dancing and high-fiving. But it wasn't until about halfway through. Now, I saw a similar thing happen yesterday in the gradu graduations. When we got to the halfway mark, suddenly people started to scream and shout and call out silly nicknames for the graduates, and it was really good. And I thought, how sad for those people whose 
friends and family went across at the beginning of the ceremony. I bet they're kicking their tails. I wish I'd made a load of noise like that. So that's the first message. We, we're here to celebrate. Yes, there's a serious side, but we're here to celebrate. So make a lot of noise. When your family member goes across, scream, shout, call out that nickname they had when they were a baby. Embarrass them. Go for it. This is your chance. They made your life a misery while they're getting their degrees. This is your chance. So do that. But then I got thinking about you lot over there. Now, I've been uh, a VC for getting on for uh, 15 years. And when I started it as a VC, would I have got up at a graduation and put a hat on like this? Nah. Would I have, uh, would I have given an informal speech? No, I'd have been very formal. I wouldn't have been me. I'd have been playing what I thought a vice chancellor should do. Now, sadly, I'm coming to the end of my Mardi Gras, to the end of my career. You know, look how old I am. I haven't got any hair under her either. <laughs> and I think, I wish I could do that again. I wish I could have my career Mardi Gras again and just have fun and be me right the way through it. I say to you, Bunch, just you're at the beginning of your Mardi Gras. Just have a good time. Be yourselves. Have some fun. Actually, have fun from the beginning of the Mardi Gras, not just at the end of the Mardi Gras. So look, we're here, yes, to do a serious thing, confer your awards, but we're also here to celebrate these just incredible, incredible people. So let's really celebrate their success. Thank you. Thank you, Vice-Chancellor. It is now time for today's occasional address. Please welcome Cheryl McDonald. Cheryl's healthcare career started in 2008 in Scotland, where she studied a Bachelor of Midwifery. After graduating, she practiced as a midwife in the National Health Service before taking a leap of faith and emigrating with her husband and five children to the Northern Territory in 2013. Working initially in the private health sector, Cheryl's passion for supporting women in all stages of their pregnancy saw her move to roles in midwifery education and management. Cheryl decided to pursue a Bachelor of Nursing at Charles Darwin University in 2017. A dedicated student, she has studied continuously for six years, earning postgraduate qualifications in nursing and paediatrics, clinical teaching and health service management. And now she works in public health. At the same time, she's worked full time while raising her family. Today, her eldest daughter follows in her footsteps and is graduating with a Bachelor of Nursing. Yes, yes. <laughs> Cheryl is the current Northern Territory Health Deputy Chief Nursing and Midwifery Officer, and with the support of her family every step of the way, she has made an indelible mark in the Territory's healthcare sector. Please join me in welcoming Cheryl to the stage. Thank you all for the warm welcome. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge Auntie B or Dr. Lee for the wonderful welcome to country. And I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land in which we gather today, the Larrakia people, and extend that to the First Nation people present in the room. I'd also like to repeat uh, uh, pay my respects to the elders past, present and future. I'd like to acknowledge the Honourable Minister Files, MLA, Chief Minister and Minister for Health. It is both an honour and a privilege to be here today to celebrate this significant milestone in your lives. A moment that marks the culmination of years of hard work, perseverance and dedication. I'm very aware that the graduates here today have completed all or almost all of their studies during the global health pandemic. This posed unprecedented challenges. You faced changes to your model of study from face-to-face -to, -face to virtual distance learning. Some of you experienced cancelled clinical placements. Most of that was due to state and territory lockdown, health facility lockdown, exposure to the virus, and contracting the virus yourself. 
I also studied two years of my undergraduate degree during a global health pandemic in 2009. Influenza A, H1N1, also known as swine flu, yet I did not face the devastation that these people went through. This has profoundly impacted their experience, but it will contribute to their adaptability, resilience, and innovation, three key qualities that will stay with you for the remainder of your career. Your perseverance to complete your studies is a true reflection of your grit and determination, and for that, a huge well done. I'd like to take a moment today to reflect on the valuable lessons that have guided me throughout my healthcare career. Firstly, be kind to yourself. The transition from undergraduate to graduate, from student to professional, is filled with multiple emotions. You can sometimes go through what we call transition shock. It's a time when the doubts creep in, when they start to question, have they chose the right career? It's a very normal experience. And I just want to assure you that it does get better. It will improve. Remember, you will not be alone in your journey. Look out for your mentors, collaborate with your colleagues, and embrace lifelong learning to overcome any challenges that come your way. Secondly, I'd like everyone to invest and believe in yourself. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would be standing here today. I arrived in Australia as a midwife. I practiced as a nurse. I transitioned into clinical education. I moved into management. And now I'm in a role that I'm extremely passionate about. And I'm driven to succeed. I've been in Darwin for almost a decade. And during that time, I have continually pushed myself to my limits for, to try and, and reach my ambitions. Believe in your own capabilities, not to your dreams, and never cease to invest in your personal growth. It is through these investments and the unwavering self-belief that you will face and overcome any challenges that come your way. Thirdly and most importantly, never forget to put your patient and their family at the center of your care. Let this principle guide every action and every decision that you make. For me, the decision to become a nurse and a midwife was never motivated by financial gains. It stemmed from a profound personal experience where I received exceptional, compassionate care from another healthcare professional. Always provide care that is not only medically exceptional, but care that is infused with kindness, respect, and empathy. Behind every diagnosis is a person, a family, a unique experience. A person who might be going through pain, discomfort, vulnerability, and uncertainty. It is in these moments that your compassionate touch, your gentle voice, and your unwavering presence will make such a difference. Lastly, but certainly not least, I'd like to emphasize the incredible power of self-care. In our roles as caregivers, it's very easy to prioritize the needs of others above our own when we are not at work. Remember, you cannot effectively support and care for others if your own well-being is neglected. Just as you cannot pour from an empty cup, you must prioritize the replenishment of your physical, mental, and emotional reserves. Self-care is not a selfish act. It's an act of self-preservation and sustainability. Prioritize your own well-being, and you will continue to provide compassionate care. You will be more resilient. You will be more empathetic, and you will be more present. As I look at everyone over here on the right hand side today, I am filled with immense pride, hope, and optimism for healthcare not only in the Northern Territory but across Australia. Each one of you has the potential to shape healthcare, to shape the future, and I'm extremely proud to be here. 
Congratulations to all graduates. Embrace the incredible journey ahead. I wish you every success. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl, for your inspirational words to our graduates. Uh, please accept these flowers as a token of our appreciation. Just looking out into the crowd, I can see uh, a few people standing up at the back, and it is a long ceremony, so please feel free to come forward and get some of the empty seats that are further in the front. Um, you can do it now. Uh, it's perfectly fine. Today's musical presentation will be an original song, They Don't Know Me, written and performed by Bella Marie. Bella Marie is a professional musician, singer-songwriter, guitarist and self-producer who has been performing for various events since the age of 10 and writing and recording music since the age of 11. Bella Marie recently made it to the top 40 on the new season of Australian Idol and you can catch her again tomorrow at Base in the Grass at Darwin's iconic Mindle Beach. Please give Bella a warm welcome. Thank you so much. That was wonderful, Bella. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you at Mindel tomorrow. I now invite the Vice Chancellor to deliver the medal presentation.
Now, you needn't do it every time I stand up. Each year, the university awards medals to the most outstanding students. And I've got to say, as universities go, we're pretty stingy. We don't award many. The University Medal for Higher Education is awarded to the highest ranked student in an undergraduate degree. Chancellor, as this recipient of the University Medal in Higher Education for the studies in the Bachelor of Clinical Sciences, I present to you Rachel G. High Young. Chancellor, as I said, we're a bit stingy. That concludes the presentation of the medal presentation. I would now like to welcome Bridie Reid, who, who was highly recommended by the Faculty of Health and will speak on behalf of the graduates. The Honourable Natasha Files, MLA, Chief Minister of the Northern Territory, Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, fellow graduates and families. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today and those of the lands on which we have been privileged to travel and I pay my respects to the elders past, present, past and present. I would also like to take the opportunity to thank Charles Darwin University faculties lecturers, professional staff, colleagues, friends and family. Without this support network, we would not have made it to this point. My name is Bridie and I'm one of the five pioneer students graduating today with the Bachelor of Health Science and Master of Occupational Therapy and I'm honoured to be a student speaker. <laughs> Each student has a story, a story of courage, hope and resilience. My story is a mature age student, student returning to study after many years of varied employment from computer programming, IT team leader and a project manager, started with the birth of my daughter just over a decade ago. It was during her kindy years that my once happy little girl started to melt down, struggling emotionally and strangely like shoes and socks and tags on clothing. It was torture in the morning routine. So at the recommendation of her kindy teacher, I saw an occupational therapist. And this was the turning point for me. If I was in the dark and didn't know about sensory processing and interception, how many other parents also were in the same position as me? So I set on a path of discovery and learning to be able to help other parents navigate and learn how to help children in the best way I know how, and that's from a lived experience. At the time when I looked at courses, I was living in a rural and remote area of southwest Queensland with very limited options for actually studying occupational therapy. So I embarked on the journey of the Bachelor of Health Science at Charles Darwin University, yet to figure out how I would actually complete the Masters. I am grateful that during this time, unbeknown to me, behind the scenes, the Master of Occupational Therapy program was in the pipeline of Charles Darwin University. And this ended up being a real blessing to my journey as I navigated studying and living in such a remote area of Queensland. To give you some context, the town I lived in um, had a population of 80 people, actually in town. My husband being a um, police officer in a remote area was constantly on call. And our two kids attended a local prep to year six school with only 12 students. We had no social support actually there in the community to help with child mining when it came to lectures and examinations. It was a bit tricky. And to give you some context, it was 220 kilometres just for us to be able to do our grocery shopping. So we spent considerable time on the road just being able to fulfil basic needs. 
So it was during this time I saw firsthand the health disparities as we discovered in the rural remote, remote health unit and the hardships that these communities endure. My family have made some pretty big sacrifices for me to follow my dream of becoming an occupational therapist. And now in return, I'm working for a not-for-profit organisation as an occupational therapist and now helping families navigate sensory processing challenges and being involved in the community with capacity building programs and empowering families by running social skills and emotional regulation programs at local kindies and schools. I had to dig deep at times when motivation was lacking and to be disciplined to be standing here today. It's taken us all strength we didn't know we had, irrespective of the support we may have had. Graduate, some of us at times during our study journey experienced times of ill health, lack of motivation and questioned why are we doing this. It was with the support of my cohort, as small as we are, and so grateful that we could be all in attendance today. And we actually made it through to the end. Thank you. <laughs> the graduation actually just marks an ending, but also a beginning. There are smiles, hugs, tears, shouts of joy, cats sailing high into the air along with hopes and dreams. It's a time of celebration, excitement and full throttle enthusiasm. I would like to leave you with a few thoughts on what will see, what will see us through the next chapter of our journey. The first one is critical reflection. Now graduates, you're probably thinking you've got to be kidding me. I've just done four years of critical reflections. I don't want to do any more. But the reality is it allows us to develop greater self-awareness, engage in ongoing learning, and improve our practice. In fact, it impacts everything from writing an essay um, that we've been doing to leading a project or providing better health care. The next one is flexibility. Are you open to change? People who make a difference can be stretched, pulled, pushed, and changed. You could say that traditionalism is an old dragon, bad about squeezing the very life out of its victims, so never stop fighting it. Excellence, moral, ethical, personal excellence. It is worth whatever it costs. And I'm sure it's no surprise to most of us that for um, the way we act is the way that we act out precisely what we take in. In other words, we become what we think. People who saw are those who refuse to sit back and wish things would change. For the courses who have their first cohort graduating today, we are pioneers in our field within the Northern Territory and beyond. Let us continue to soar from this point forward and pioneer in many other ways to benefit our professions. Never quit because someone disagrees with you. As in my case and a number of the other graduates, never use age as an excuse. Next one is courage. Someone once wrote, sow a thought, you reap an act. Sow an act, you reap a habit. Sow a habit and you reap your character. Sow your character and reap your destiny. Even in a world where the majority say yes, uh, says we can't, you can. And these are my final parting words as a graduate. It lies before you now, the untrod path, the unopened door the mountain peak, the broad blue heavens. I challenge you, walk that path, open that door, and climb the mountain heights. The sky's the limit. And when you find yourself inundated with choices, don't be afraid. Be wise. Choose excellence. Ingrained in the occupational therapy profession, we know that hope still glimmers in the darkest hour. Let that be the turning point for excellence an exciting new journey begins. Graduate, well done, and my prayers are with you moving forward. Thank you, Bridie, for sharing your story and representing our wonderful graduates here today. Please accept these flowers as a token of our appreciation.
I now invite the Vice-Chancellor to commence the conferring of awards. Would all graduands please stand? And smile. <laughs> we come to the most important part of the graduation ceremony. This is akin to, we saw the coronation last week, this is uh, the anointment. So this is an important part. And I am uh, incredibly uh, grateful uh, that uh, the Chief Minister is here to see this. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> um, well, let's get down to it. Chancellor. Time to work. Chancellor. As Vice-Chancellor of Charles Darwin University, I submit to you candidates for the awards as set out in this official list of graduates. I certify that those listed have satisfied the requirements for the award of those degrees, diplomas and certificates. As Chancellor of Charles Darwin University, I hereby admit to their respective awards the candidates whose names appear in the official list of graduands. Congratulations. Well done. Would all graduates please take your seats. I now call upon the Pro Vice Chancellor of the Faculty of Health, Professor Dominic Upton, to present the graduates. Chancellor, in my capacity as the Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you the graduates from the Faculty of Health and CDU TAFE. for the award of Certificate 3 in Individual Support, Sharolin Bacalor. <laughs> Marilou Harland. Miracle Petulin. Virginia Reeves. Melanie Villanis. <laughs> Certificate four in adult health assistance, Lorraine Randall. Undergraduate Certificate, Social and Mental Health Care, Samantha Lu Lucy Ashmore. <laughs> Diploma of Counselling, Gabriel McMillan. Diploma of Exercise and Sports Science, Zach Anthony Butler. <laughs> D 
Diploma of Health, Evin Fabiana. Isabel Huber. <laughs> Monica Majarcic. <laughs> Mirina Dani Mio. of Health Science, Vanessa Alexandra Branco. <laughs> Okimuti Blessing Okupatu. <laughs> Rochelle Tong. Diploma of Health Studies, Jose Emmanuel Gonzaga Palantiano. <laughs> Calliopo Scafesis. <laughs> Diploma of Psychology, Tariro Makundi. Rosetta McConnell. <laughs> Diploma of Social Care, Danielle Jamie Barton. <laughs> Layla Heinrich. Sandra Hivaj. <laughs> Venetia Shufri Sivaja. <laughs> Gina Serti. Associate Degree of Exercise and Sports Science, Dinesh Mala. <laughs> Bachelor of Clinical Science, Pumudi Abiwardana. <laughs> Emma Claire Anksman. Jonathan Philip Bowden. <laughs> Eugene Claire Choi. <laughs> Lucy Claire Fulcher. Tendai Nesvinya. <laughs> yeah, Gahanik Adari.
Patrick John Rawthorn. Joyce Sun. Brandon King Sing Ting. Rachel G. Ha Young. Eric Zhu. <laughs> Bachelor of Exercise and Sports Science, Dean Bergoglio. <laughs> Melissa Ann Bridge. Charles Ericu. <laughs> Kendall Ray Pickering. To Neil Shields. <laughs> Simon Unzi. Bachelor of Health Science, Prabhana Bohara. <laughs> Takesha Paul. <laughs> Sasha Lee Underhill. Bachelor of Health Science Honours with First Class Honours, Alexander Klinkhouse. <laughs> Bachelor of Medical Laboratory Science, Kathy Leone Arden. <laughs> Caitlin Fang Fang Fu. Savio K. James. <laughs> Tammy Evelyn Pike. <laughs> Mary Papple. Aisha Tandle. <laughs> Matt Andrew V. <laughs> Bachelor of Midwifery, Mackenzie Jody Anderson. Asma Yahana Ansari. <laughs> Trofina Ruth Cochran.
Sarah Megan Collette. <laughs> Rosalind Consoli. <laughs> Kayla Ann Gates. <laughs> Madeline Eve Gray. Larissa Jenner. Rachel Alice Jewell. Catherine Ann Leslie. <laughs> Elira Morn. <laughs> Shannon Minnitz. Tracy Ann Page Nelson. <laughs> Madison Newton. Samantha Open. Summer Fontaine Pask. <laughs> Mia Patrice Pemble. <clears throat> Jessica Eve Smith. Kayla Spicer. Ainsley Diane Steele. Molly Sutherland. Bachelor of Nursing, Elsie Aparka. Lisa McKenzie, Cheryl Danger Aberdeen. Devindra Adhikari. Norseba Afros. <laughs> Awanda Agok. <laughs> Lucy Edward Apay. Pushpa Ariel Subkota. <laughs> Asata Ba. <laughs> M 
Mariamaba. Kimberly Bailey. Balraj Korbath. Lisa Michelle Bell. Jordan Matilda Janine Berry. Yuvraj Singh Bhatti. Claire Helene Blakey. Aaron Brooks. Alicia Buchanan. Daniel Paul Caesar. Lauren Kate Capana. Sarah Louise Kate. Pawanda Deep Channel. Krishan Charan. Bridget Schubel. Rebecca Conklin. Michelle Louise Crawford. Alana Dengate. Lucy Francis Dixon. Pratisha Dutel. Melisinga Dubé. Lenita Isabel Mina Dunlop. <laughs> Rebecca Lee Dunn. Alicia Alford. <laughs> Vanessa Fernandez. <laughs> Hasatu Albert Fauna. Carmelita Galos. Sachini Gamage.
Lisa Jane Garcia. Alicia Gorton. Ajana Giri. Joelle Kate Green. Naomi Lynette Gray. Munata Gurung. Nicole Gurung. <laughs> Nimala Gurung. Nisha Gwali Sharma. Mariel Hachuwila. Michael Hoisler. Emery Harris. Claire Margaret Hartley. Tyron Katrina Henry. Rebecca Brenda Holstead. Stacy Ann Jacobs. <laughs> Tina Jatunga Dahani Uyaki. <laughs> Victorious Jumati. Georgina Jenkins. Jihu <laughs> Zhang. Jihu <laughs> Zhang. Shinju Jobi. Shanavi Jodijia. <laughs> Bobby John. <laughs> Joshua Paul Vargas. Kamo Di Ya Riwa. Guji Kao. Anish Khatri. <laughs> P 
Paisley Bonneville Kitty. Teresia Warakaria Kini Yaraju. Kamal Preet Kaur. Abigail Chizuzu Kanunda. Sumitra Lama. <laughs> Doma Lama Bojan. <laughs> Li Ting Yu. Michelle Lee Brando. <laughs> Biblioni Liatong. <laughs> Sharon Limbo. Hoy Louis <laughs> Dennis Laudu <laughs> Srijana Lohani. Naomi Ileana Loresco. <laughs> Stacy Marie Luck. <laughs> Tam Tai Lee. Shelly McDonald. <laughs> Rowena Maharajan. <laughs> Kevin Martin. Bernadette Lillian McCoughlin. <laughs> Jessica Mills. <laughs> Dikchia Mishra. Wesley Mitchell. <laughs> Quinendai Ruth Mapuzu. <laughs> Aline Malolumba. Zahuka Mashi Guru. Lizette Mutalemba. <laughs> 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 
Baidel Nalazaru. Sama Kilawizi and Nilavu. Shreya Nupain. Queen Nguyen. <laughs> Maureen Karibe Oine. <laughs> Helen Elizabeth Palmer. Mary Grace Novell Paulson. <laughs> Jody Mary Petty. <laughs> Sangeeta Pokro Pudiel. Emily Post. <laughs> Anne Maria Raju. <laughs> Carly Marie Raven. As Marika Ray Maraji, <laughs> Kayla Lee Reek, <laughs> Sadhana Rial Ariel. Callum John Rowe. <laughs> Samantha Santos. <laughs> Anata Kamakal. Sarah Swati. <laughs> Sharon Saviour. <laughs> Narita C. Tony M. Sebastian. <laughs> Satsa Shanahan Sebastian. <laughs> Shreya Sahari Takuri. Zanae Shumararia. <laughs> Chia Chi Shu. <laughs> Prasidi Shrasicha. Seema Shrestha. <laughs> S 
meets us the rest of the day. Super draw, stress the Sumi Treasure. Rebecca Louise Simmons. Sasha Nicole Stratford. Crystal J. Sturgis Myers. <clears throat> Simon Rani. Renuka Tamang. Sita Tamang. <laughs> Alicia Tharpa. <laughs> Bijaya Thapalia. Jessica Marie Thea Horodis. <laughs> Trisha Shira Timurli Sainer. <laughs> Sabina Tumpapu. Shala Uwiz E. Imana. <laughs> Ole Vaida. <laughs> Keely Marie Walsh. Jin Ho Yuan. <laughs> Jessica Lee Wed. <laughs> Laura Irene Welsh. Emma Elizabeth Williams. <laughs> Brianna Woodward. <laughs> Bachelor of Pharmacy, Leon Brian Adamus. Mary Santon Ruben Gore. Uh -huh. <laughs> Afima Luizu. <laughs> Irene Sturgos. Bachelor of Psychological Science, Shara Close.
Ross Davidson. Emily Hartree. Karis Mary Joy Allen Hughes. Maria Kumuli. Michelle Munishi Matayoroto. Miriel Machkora Uta. <laughs> Sophie Louise Mackay. <laughs> Miyuri Mina Patagama. Michael John Pearson. <laughs> Lauren P Pendlington. <laughs> Nazanin Rostami. Nicole Louise Silver. Katie Ema Stockman. Jamie Walkup. Courtney Willard. <laughs> Bachelor of Psychological Science and Diploma of Counseling, Alicia Jessica McCausland. <laughs> Bachelor of Psychological Science Honours with First Class Honours, Lise Newton. Lisa Newton. Felicity Ann Wardle. Bachelor of Social Work, Vivian Nequamo Amasitio. Jessica Anglesey. Adela Pastova. Viet Duke Cow. Nikita Wynn Kearney. <laughs> T. Yen Neely. <laughs> Hannah Ungai. Marianne Obeyuti. <laughs> uh, 
Alice Porteous. Jawinda Respka. <laughs> Ashley Wall. <laughs> Stephen James Wellhouse. Graduate Certificates of Creative Therapies, Bronwyn Clee. <laughs> Joanne Parkinson. Annette Plyman. Roberta Styles Wood. <laughs> Graduate Certificate of Health Service Management, Luke Ruani. Graduate Certificate of Safe Communities Child Protection, Cynthia Henty Roberts. <laughs> Courtney Lee Mackey. <laughs> Graduate Diploma of Renal Care, Melanie Coulthard. Master of Medical Laboratory Science, Evelyn Esther John. <laughs> Master of Midwifery, Shayana Manyas. <laughs> Master of Nursing, Shiny K. James. Master of Nursing Nurse Practitioner, Gemma Marie Chamberlain. <laughs> Katerina Ferrari. <laughs> Kelly Leon. Esther Magito. <laughs> Pamela S. Mupufu. <laughs> Lynette Alm Patain. Thomas Rampal. <laughs> Sheena Samuel. <laughs> Nimi Zachariah. Master of Nursing Practice Pre-Registration, Milan Akira. <laughs> oh.
Olabisi Deborah Alonge. Rupert Balami. Pratima Dahal. <laughs> All right. Follow that. Pratima Dahal. <laughs> Sangeeta Daho. <laughs> Subhash GC. <laughs> Simana Casey. And you pre core. <laughs> Sophia Manuda. <laughs> Jason Bonanostro Mallorit. Tone no new one. Rupesh Osti. Richard Nisarg Patel. Dimitra Pudel. Raj Kyle. Ramniko. Ankur Ratti. Bandana Sharma. Anusha Shastra. Kanchan Chesla. <laughs> Sandra Oko Tajamavo. <laughs> Ti Min Tran Chong. <laughs> Master of Occupational Therapy and Bachelor of Health Science, Amanda Verley Fletcher. <laughs> Malia Ford. Essie Gross. Bra 
Bridie Reid. Sarah Marie Spence. <laughs> Master of Applied Therapy, Manisha Shabenshi Dasulwa. Master of Psychology Clinical, Stacey Bridges. <laughs> Patrice Artemis Ford. <laughs> Natalie Jean Ying Lim. Jennifer Claire Packer. <laughs> Taylor Sweetnam. <laughs> Nada Patricia Turman. Daniel Wright Frank. <laughs> Master of Social Work Qualifying, Sarah Alina Detling. <laughs> Yuri Hisigawa. Bobby Alani Purkun. <laughs> Chancellor, that concludes the presentations for the graduates for the Faculty of Health and CDU TAFE. <laughs> <laughs> I, I now call upon the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Research Innovation, Professor Steve Rogers, to present their CDU doctoral graduates. Uh, yeah, there's not quite so many. Uh, that was a pretty good effort there from Professor Upton. Um, <laughs> Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, graduates, CDU colleagues, a Doctor of Philosophy or PhD is the highest postgraduate qualification level that can be awarded in academic study. It involves in-depth focused research conducted normally over three to five years, but sometimes up to 10 years for part-time students. Research outcomes are presented as a thesis and are addressed by a panel of national and international academic experts who determine whether the research delivers an original and significant contribution to knowledge in the particular field of research. The, gra gra the, the candidates graduating today have met these very demanding criteria. Uh, in addition, we will be presenting our doctoral graduates with a boomerang. A boomerang is indicative of the knowledge that has existed amongst First Nations Australians for tens of thousands of years. And Charles Darwin University takes great pride in presenting these boomerangs to our PhD graduates. Chancellor, in my capacity as Deputy Vice-Chancellor Research and Innovation, 
I present to you Stephen Anthony Sutton. For their thesis titled Cultural Drivers of Disaster Risk Reduction Behaviour as supervised by the late Professor Douglas Payton, I now present to you Dr Stephen Anthony Sutton. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of the doctoral graduates. I now call upon the Director of Menzies School of Health Research, Professor Alan Cass AO, to present their graduates. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, love the story about the hat and the Mardi Gras. I hope we can hear a story about the beautiful shoes, another graduation <laughs> Vice-Chancellor. <laughs> Graduates, family and friends, I acknowledge the traditional owners, the Larrakee people, and pay respects to their elders past and present and emerging leaders. Chancellor, I first came to live in the Territory in 1998 to work as a young, well certainly younger, kidney specialist at the hospital. I combined work at the hospital and Nightcliff Dialysis Unit with research at Menzies and here at the university, exploring why there was such a heavy burden of kidney disease and how we could treat it better. The wonderful students graduating today, they will provide the health care we need today and into the future. This is one of the key roles of our Territory University Charles Darwin University, providing pathways, opportunities and training for the Northern Territory Health Workforce of the future. Thank you, Chancellor. Chancellor, in my capacity as Director of Menzies School of Health Research, I present to you for the award of Graduate Diploma of Health Research Isabel June Walker. <laughs> Graduate Diploma of Public Health, Panada Duangpanya. Master of Public Health, Marita Antonia Amindo Montero. <clears throat> Ruth Josephine Canty. Jessica Rose Hagley. <laughs> Samita Khanna. <laughs> 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 
and Ming Ying Su. <laughs> At the Chancellor, that beautifully concludes the presentation of coursework graduates from Menzies School of Health Research. I now present, Chancellor, the doctorate graduate from Menzies School of Health Research. Chancellor, I present to you Josie Helen Hovey for her thesis titled the Aboriginal and Islander Mental Health Initiative for Youth App Project, an emerging framework for digital mental health design with Indigenous young people, as supervised by Associate Professor Kylie Dingwall. I now present to you Dr Josie Helen Povey. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of doctoral graduates. I'm honoured to witness and be part of this ceremony. Thank you, Chancellor. I now call upon the Chancellor to deliver the charge to graduates. Would the graduates please stand? As newly conferred graduates of Charles Darwin University, it is at this stage in proceedings that we conduct a turning of the tassel ceremony. This is a long-standing university tradition that officially symbolizes your transition from graduand to graduate of Charles Darwin University. Please now move your tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left. Yay. I charge you as graduates to maintain a commitment to lifelong learning, to strive for truth, integrity, and compassion, to contribute to your chosen profession, and by the application of your abilities, to support and nurture the communities that you are part of. I charge you to take with you the spirit and resilience of the territory. Walk softly but proudly in the knowledge of your profession. May your achievements bring honour to CDU, your chosen profession, and to yourself. Good luck. I'm, you've been pretty noisy. <laughs> but I'd like the graduates to do one more thing and that is to thank this lot. These people who've been supporting you, who've been <laughs> noisy. Okay, so it's not just your families that can be noisy. No. Okay. <laughs> 
Would all graduates please take your seats in preparation for your guard of honour and the closing of the ceremony. Every new day begins with a choice. The choice to make time for what really matters. To use every opportunity to work toward our goals. And to make every day count. Once we committed, we knew it was possible. Today is a time to celebrate and reflect on what we achieved. It wasn't always easy. We had our doubts. And the juggle seemed impossible. The early mornings and the late nights. When the inspiration was not there. The search for perfection. We just wanted to get it right. But for every challenge faced, we always had the end in sight. We found our inner strength and determination. We found support along the way. We used perseverance and passion to reach our potential. to find our new world. It all comes down to this moment. A feeling that will live with us forever. To share with the ones who've inspired us. To become the person we were meant to be. Graduates, distinguished guests, families and friends, the procession will now prepare to form a guard of honour for our newest graduates. The Chancellor and Vice-Chancellor then invite you to join them in the foyer for light refreshments. Please now stand with the procession and remain standing until the graduates have left the room. <laughs> 